We begin tonight in Iowa City, where school leaders have released the district's list of books they will pull off the shelves. After a new state law passed by Republicans bans books from having book, or bans schools rather from having books with sexually explicit material. Iowa's News Now State House reporter Scholar Talal has the list and how schools across the state are trying to comply. Iowa City Public Schools says almost 70 books in its possession violate the new Iowa law and contain sexually explicit material. Books on the list, like All Boys Aren't Blue and When I Was Puerto Rican, are commonly facing challenges nationwide, but other titles are taking some by surprise. There's some books on there that certainly I wouldn't think that this, uh, the legislature intended that they be pulled. Things like The Color Purple, uh, Handmaid's Tale, uh, one that caught my eye was uh, The Girl with the Gra Dragon Tattoo. In an email the school district sent out to parents, the district says there's a team of administrators, curriculum coordinators, teachers, and teacher librarians who are involved in reviewing materials. Other Iowa schools like Urbandale and Mason City also releasing lists, but are using different methods. Some have taken a very strict interpretation of the law where you've then ended up with very lengthy lists of books that would be taken out of libraries. Others have, um, have been um, more inclusive in terms of what they deem appropriate. Like other districts across the state, Iowa City Community Schools asked for outside help, including legal counsel and understanding the law. Many districts have also requested the Iowa Department of Education release guidelines, but the department says it will handle questions on a case-by-case -case basis. When legislators draft a statute like this, they have to try to do it in a way that's as clear as possible because they want to give give them enough notice as to, well, these types of books are appropriate or are okay, these perhaps not. Back in August, Representative Skylar Wheeler says we've been very clear through this process that the books this law requires to be removed are ones that contain graphic descriptions or images of a sex act. But still, we're seeing confusion and inconsistencies among schools, which could lead to more conversations at the State House. In Des Moines, Skylar's Law Reporting.